Hi guys, Nick Miller today from Mark Supply Company. Today I have for you a very, very nice piece. This is an all original 2005 John Deere 110 tractor loader backhoe or TLB. This tractor has just 980 original one owner hours. This was bought new at Standard Equipment. I have the books for it. It is complete. It is set up with the John Deere Worksite 72 inch front bucket with a bolt on cutting edge, skid steer quick attach. Up front lays the three point hitch arm kit with top length. Backhoe with 24 inch and 12 inch John Deere style quick attach, which interchanges with your John Deere 27 and 35 series mini excavators. Quick attach bucket. This tractor is truthfully a 980 hour all original tractor. It has not been touched up. It was garage kept. It is a one owner piece. Probably one of the nicer ones you are going to, it is one of the nicest ones you're gonna find at Acre on the market. 980 hours. I did see a 400 hour one surfaced about a month ago. Uh, was like this, very clean, very nice. This tractor still has all the markings where bolts were tightened from factory and marked off. The zinc plating is on everything. We're gonna start here up here under the hood. So the majority of these tractors right now are getting to the point where these grill guards are bent up. The hoods are cracked and busted. There's one paint chip here. I'm gonna open the hood. Hood opens beautiful, there it is. Zinc plating is still on the exhaust clamp. Um, you can see everything under the hood, very, very nice condition. The side covers are in nice condition. We did go to our local John Deere dealer, bought a full factory service kit, changed all filters and oils on this tractor so that it was done. You can still see all the zinc plating even on the hood latch. It is just a very, very well kept piece. Um, shut this hood. The auto level arm is on it. A lot of them I've seen tore off. Up here, there's no aftermarket welding on the front of the boom. It is two pin standard skid steer quick attach. This is the obviously the original bucket to the tractor. 72 inch worksite pro, bolt on the cutting edge. Tractor is four wheel drive, power steering. Look how nice it is in underneath here. Axle housings, you can see everything is just, it's very nice, very crisp, very straight. Um, I did call verify serial number. It is a, he did purchase it brand new in 2005. There's no aftermarket welding. There is no cracks. There is no breaks. Um, rubber. Front rubber is going to be 75%. They are Galaxy 10165s. In the rear, Galaxy again, 17524s. There is one little cut mark right here. There is one little wee cut mark here. There is nothing that leaks. I don't want to hear any crap about it. There is no issue there. I'm pointing it out so somebody doesn't have some conniption when it gets shipped there. We point out a lot of stuff that a lot of people don't. Um, the big thing with these tractors, they are a truthfully a commercial tractor loader backhoe. I have no idea to this day why John Deere ever had the brain, uh, harebrain idea to stop making these. They are still a very sought after tractor. Uh, just like Kubota with their M59. Uh, Kubota unfortunately had to go to the M62 because of admissions. These are a non-emissions tractor. These were honest to God built super super tough. There was some guys that abused them. Yes, they had a center section in the transmission housings that would break. I've seen that before in three and four thousand hour ones. This obviously is not that way. Um, these were just truthfully a tough, tough little machine. Um, you can see all the fiberglass on the fenders here. Everything there is very nice and crisp. Look here at everything in the back end of this tractor. Uh, standard John Deere style controls. This is built, you know, like a, it's a mini 310 SG in, in this configuration. Matt, you might as well come on around here. We'll show you here at the operator side. Little toolbox lid here. Everything there is in very nice shape. Getting on and off the tractor again. This is all original paint. It has not been touched up. You can see this. Again, original paint. Two small little wear marks there from getting on and off. Again, this was a private gentleman's machine. We have one little mark right there in the seat. Other than that, this is original to the tractor. 
980 hours. All gauges work. This is your forward reverser, which I'll show you whenever I'm running the backhoe, how it works. It's very cool. You can change your forward reverse from setting on the backhoe whenever you're operating it. PTO, light, key, throttle, joystick loader control. The only thing we had to do, I did buy a new turn signal switch from John Deere. The turn signal switch was froze up. We went ahead and fixed that. Your forward and reverse shuttle pedals, fuel tank, range selection, four-wheel drive in and out, park brake. Rops is in very nice shape. Again, this is truthfully, and I'm not exaggerating, this is a one-of-a-kind tractor. This is not some run-of-the-mill 2500 hour John Deere 110. I want everyone to understand that. I'm going to fire this tractor up. We're going to put it through its ranges first. I will go from C, or I'll go A, B, and C, show you four-wheel drive works, then we're going to go to the back end.
one believer, rotate the seat back, and you're done. There's no mechanism, there's no trying to turn to something. That right there, as far as I'm concerned, best seat setup on compact track loaded backhoe in the market, period, done. And I don't, right there's the pattern, everybody, take a look at it. So, one nice feature of these tracks, Brawling's here, okay, so we're good to go. Now, if I want to go backwards, I'm digging my dick, I reach up, pull my loader on, I slap the reverse. I use this little thumb in the air, and I go the reverse. I want to head forward. I do a speed it up, slide it down. Unbelievable. Very, very slow.
these nice grab handles here to get a hold of. And again, watch this. Look how simple it can be. set up everything's here top link three-point hitch arm you can see it all here is here and complete i even made sure that the pins are even here for an attachment you want to hook one of those attachments it's all there um 12 inch bucket 24 inch bucket this is something a lot of guys are out there looking for something nice something clean it's not something you have to work on this is something that will go right to work it's a 980 hour machine and I want to see somebody get it that's going to use it and appreciate it because stuff like this is getting so hard to get. This is back when they built something. He even included in the stuff, there is some original literature of the 110s back when he was purchasing it. They literally set a 3, I believe it was a 310 SE at the time, right beside it in the photos and say, built just like this, but in this size. And when you look at the boom, the way they built them, they're built just like an E-Series, and the SG, and the G is the same way. Everything is built heavy. You don't buy that. Today. I don't care what brand you're buying. You don't buy the heavy tractor that this truthfully is in a new brand today. I'm sorry. There's, I'll catch a whole bunch of crap from a lot of people for saying that. But sometimes you have to state the truth, and this is the truth. This is a heavy, heavy tractor. And the way they design these fronts, this whole independent structure here, the way this comes up off the chassis, comes around, goes to the back axle, that is the whole chassis structure that's taking the brunt and the work of the loader and the backhoe end of it. It was a heck of a design. It was just quite a tractor. So, if you have any questions, 814-658-3066. It's why I take the time to do these videos. It's why we take the time to service our stuff to throw it. We actually have a full-time guy that does nothing but wash, wax, and detail. He has waxed this tractor. It is that clean. It is that nice. All the bolts still have zinc plating on them. Uh, the lines, the, there's still part number tags on the hoses. Right here. Here is a LVA11704, which is a lift hose. That's John Deere part number. Just a nice, clean piece. If you have any questions, 814-658-3066. Please check out our website, www.markersupplyco.com. If you have any questions, give Nick or Matt a call. We're glad to help with anything we can. As always, thank you very much for checking out Mark Supply Company. Have a great day.